Hello, it's Mr. B. How are you? I'm in my art room and I'm waiting for you to come back so we can have art and a few laughs. I have a book to read for you today and I want to read it to you and afterward we can do a, a little activity. And you can do this over break if you have time. If you don't, we'll do it when you get back. It's called There's a Nightmare in My Closet. It's written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer. You see that there? All right, it's about a little boy. There used to be a nightmare in my closet. Before going to sleep, I always close the closet door. I was even afraid to turn around and look. You can tell he's going back to getting bad. And he's a little nervous. When I was safe in bed, I'd peek sometimes. Does that ever happen to you? One night I decided to get rid of my nightmare once and for all. He's going to war, isn't he? As soon as the room was dark, I heard him creeping toward me. Quickly, I turned on the light and caught him sitting at the foot of my bed. Oh, go away, nightmare, or I'll shoot you, I said. He's got a little pop gun there. I shot him anyway. My nightmare began to cry. That's what happens when you hurt someone. I was mad, but not too mad. Nightmare, be quiet, or you'll wake Mommy and Daddy, I said. He wouldn't stop crying, so I took him by the hand. Sometimes that helps calm people down when you hold their hand. But the monster was very frightened himself, don't you think? Well, then I closed the closet door. The monster's in bed. I suppose there's another nightmare in my closet, but my bed's not big enough for three. Isn't that cool? Invite him to stay. Looks like there's going to be more. And that's it. Okay, a few weeks ago, we talked about shapes. And we did a piece of art after doing a reading about a caterpillar. And we came up with some geometric shapes. Okay, a circle, triangle. Oval, square, rectangle. <gasps> no, that's the triangle. Here's the rectangle. And we made it look like the caterpillar was walking along the shapes. In this activity, I'm going to show you two completed art pieces. See this? You can tell Kellen, put his name here. Kellen took a square. What color is the square? Correct, yellow. A green triangle. Circle. And what is this shape? Yeah, it's an oval turned sideways. And 
Helen took his pieces of paper and cut them to make all of the shapes look like monsters. They're geometric monsters. Okay? Now, if you have construction paper, uh, I encourage you to get different colors to make your monsters. Okay? This one is Allison's. Allison's is looking a little bit different. Uh, but she basically used the same colors. If you don't have construction paper, you can still use white paper and color the paper to kind of match what I have here. Okay. So what you want to do is get you some geometric shapes like the like the square and the circle, triangle and oval. There's others. There's a rectangle. I use rectangles for the arms and legs. Okay. Of course, they use circles for the eyes. Uh, but there are other geometric shapes like the pentagon and the octagon and the hexagon uh, and diamond. And you can make all the monsters that you want to make. So good luck and have a great break.